Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a carnation buttonhole. So here I've got asparagus setaceus, also known as lace fern. So I've got a big piece and two little pieces and I've basically used a 0.32 gauge silver wire, placed it in a double leg mount and did and used half width tape. So I'm going to show you how to wire them. Um, so this is my bigger piece. So what to do, take your 0.32 silver gauge wire, wrap it around two or three times, bring them both down, and then using your half width tape, and then gently pull to cover your wire. You don't need to go all the way down. And then how to wire a carnation. It's nice and easy to do. So you take your standard carnation, any colour you like. To give it more of an open look, gently use your thumb and finger to fluff it out. Take your 0.71 wire. And then the end will come out. So to secure it, you make a little hook and then pull it downwards. And then it's completely hidden. Then I'm, this time I'm gonna use full width tape. because it's quite a big, this big flower. So as you usual, wrap it around. Yeah, roses and carnations are popular for buttonholes nowadays. And then we're going to put it together. So I'm taking my big piece of asparagus setaceus and I'm placing it behind my carnation. So the lower leaf is next to the little, is next to the stem. So they're sort of back to back. And then these little pieces of asparagus setaceus. I'm going to put these either side of the larger asparagus frond. So I'm bending these sort of 90 degrees. You'll notice that they are a little bit fiddly to work with due to them having a fluffy sort of texture. But all together they do make a attractive buttonhole. So to finish it off, I'm going to take my full width tape, tape it together, This final taping, I'm using full width tape. And once again, don't worry if your tape breaks because you can just um, do it again. You don't need to go over. And again, you don't need to go all the way down. So now I'm going to trim all my wires about here 
And again, as I showed you previously in my rose buttonhole, add a little bit of stem tape for the bottom to cover up the sharp wires. And if necessary, um, you can sort of manipulate your um, smaller fronds of asparagus setaceus. And again, um, take your silver headed pin or pearl headed if you prefer and insert it upwards. And this is your carnation buttonhole.